Today we're breaking world records, kind of. We brought a literal, a Hypershell X Ultra to legally cheat, purely for science. Yes. Legends ain't born, they built from the ground. From benches to banners, we sharpen them. Hypershell is a robotic device designed to assist with movement during activities like hiking, sports, and everyday life. It's said to amplify leg strength, boost endurance, and make walking feel lighter. Why is this special? So imagine you're at one of the seven wonders of the world, the Christ the Redeemer, Great Pyramids in Egypt, but you're halfway up hiking up it and your legs give out on you. Well, this is helping you not replace your legs, but save the energy for where it really matters. For scientific purposes. For scientific purposes. And to find out if that's actually true, my brother and I are putting it to the test with challenge. Challenges. We'll see if this tech really makes legends or just makes stairs easier. Let me introduce the app. Hypershell now supports a watch OS app for mode selection and gear adjustment. There is no need to pull out your phone during outdoor activities. Simply raise your wrist to make a quick and easy adjustment so nothing bricks mid run. Click it. There you go. And you're on. All right, congratulations, we're set up. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, I feel it. You feel it? Hyper mode, yep. There you go, hyper mode. Holy, <gasps> wait, was I not on hyper mode before? You're not on hyper mode before? Bro, this is like making my legs kick. <laughs> Let's try eco mode now. That's chill, I like this. It's like a good morning walk. You wanna go run, you know, or walk, you know, 30 miles. I like this. So in the app, you can increase the power. To, it's telling you how to do it, so I'll double click for increased power. So now I walk and I have increased power. Keep increasing. Keep increasing? Yep. All right, now do max hyper mode. This is everything it's got. It's just better in a jog. Like a jog feels like a walk. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Now you know all the steps, and now it's time for us to fully test this thing and see how many records we can break. Okay, what's the first one? Each record gets two attempts. First, just raw human power. Then we turn on the exoskeleton, starting with our first challenge, running. Ronaldo did a 25-yard dash in 3.3 seconds. Corey's going to be trying to beat that with the exoskeleton and without it, and we're going to compare it to see which one's faster. Okay. 25 meters okay. from this yellow line all the way to that white line over there. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, guess your time. Bro, that's like 5.5 seconds, something like that. 5.6 seconds. Yeah. Now for my second attempt, I'm gonna be turning the hyper shell on. Okay. And I'm gonna be going for it. And go hyper mode. Here we go. Three, two, one. What was it? 5.6. It was literally the same. Bro, in the middle, it like uh, tripped me up real quick. How'd that feel? I felt faster. 5.45. Okay, okay, I went a little bit faster, that's yeah, cool. Fast. Corey set the record even faster with EXO mode on. Definitely a win. Speed really helps with the hypershell and makes sprinting a lot easier, but does it actually improve agility? Let's find out. To the next location. All right, for our next objective, we're gonna try to use these at the skate park. It's called Fit Core, but we're gonna do everything that involves our legs because everything the Hyper EXO is about is leg health. All right, beautiful. He's killing it. He's killing it. He's killing it. He's killing it. He's double killing it. Start from the right side to go to the left. Get to the left. Nice. Nice. Left two. Left one. Left one. Left one. Oh, yeah. So you have to go over this or what? I go over this like a fireman. Okay, I'm losing my breath already. I got kids at home. Bro, I don't even know how, how this is going to work. You're about to have no kids if you fall. No, 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 no. Oh, no way. Okay. And the timer's done. What'd you think you got? Minute 25. 50 seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. Excited to try this out. It's crazy how it just feels like you're wearing clothes. It doesn't feel like bionic or heavy, like I would yeah. assume. Carbon fiber for the leg straps. Yeah. And then for even more strength and still light, this is titanium alloy. Wait, so Cabrin's gonna throw a backflip and test it out. What happens when you backflip with a hyper shell? Kind of give me, that feel? Kind of give me a little bit of extra spring. Really? Kind of interesting. I heard it go ying, ying. Yeah, it was like ring. So it's like every, every step is assisted just by a little bit, which I believe equates out to like 30 plus percent of energy saved. So the current world record that I set today was 50 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. But now we're gonna be doing it with this hyper shell to see if I can break my own world record. <laughs> Did it help you run? It looks like it helped. Oh my God. Dude, 
Bro, I can hear it like buzzing like no yeah, other. I'm, like making biotic sound. <laughs> no way. Kaper, this is definitely faster. I can hear it just like. <laughs> there is some assistance. Huh? There is some assistance. Some? Bro, it looks like it's moving the world for you. I need a stretch. Oh, oh, oh. And you completed it. You good? Yeah, eight seconds off. We're all right here broken. In our agility test, it actually helped even on uneven surfaces with varied movements. So yeah, it really does make a difference in different sports. Just like they say, two points for EXO. It's your turn next. Okay. To the next adventure. What is it? We can't truly review this device unless we do it Funk Bro style. Let's take it to the scooters and see if it really makes a difference. So before we do anything, I just wanna just test like pushing. It was like the easiest main thing you do at the start. So I'm just gonna be doing this, all right. Oh my God, it's already wanting to go, ready? Bro, it's like auto doing it. Like it's making me go faster than I wanna go. You have to like bend your leg down to push too. Like it's not just doing this, it's doing this. And the hyper shell is doing all of it. It's doing the pump and the leg squat. How's that feel? It's interesting. Do a jump? Oh! Did it help like flick the whip around faster? Yeah, so it really helps just like when I'm pushing around. So I really like it. Like I get a lot more speed, it feels like. So that's cool. Oh. oh my god. How will it absorb the impact of landing? Alright, how does it absorb? I kind of absorbs a little bit. Did it actually absorb? Wait, I'm actually so curious how this absorbs impact. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like suspension for your legs. It's like interesting. The common place to practice on scooters is to ride a ramp, jump really high, and go to flat ground to prepare for box jumps. And this would always have a lot of impact, the most out of anything. But the training is important. So Corey's gonna test this out to see if it works or doesn't. Oh! That was kind of cool. Wait, how On the up and down oh. was like pretty good. So my question, does the titanium alloy and the carbon fiber feel like what? Like it's not even there. <laughs> like a feather. <laughs> That's good actually, that's huge. Three points for EXO. This actually was the first ever exoskeleton scooter jump impact absorption ever recorded in history. And now it's time to head to our next location. For our final challenge, we're here at the Santa Monica Stairs, 199 steps in total. We're putting the device to the test for longevity. Will EXO keep you going even when you're tired and exhausted? Let's find out. This is hard yeah. to just do regularly. So maybe I should just walk up it and just see how it feels after this. That's crazy, after all day of use, it's, it shows you it has three bars still. How is it still have power? Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. We wanna see how close we can get to this stair stepping record, as Caper himself is not a stair step record holder, <laughs> but I think this is gonna help him, and it's about longevity instead of just breaking records, because we wanna show up what this can actually do. So yeah. I believe Caper will sooner or later have a drop off at a point, but we wanna see when that would have been, and then how much longer he can push past that. Oh. Hyper mode on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Power hyper mode. Damn, bro. Whenever you want. Okay, three, two, one. No way. How is it feeling? I'm actually not even tired right now. Really? You can literally just hear it like. Zzz, 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 zzz. Okay, I'm starting to feel the burn. Oh, I'm feeling the burn too. I'm out here with my with my leg meets. My medial legs. Right now we're at 30 seconds, Capron. Bro, we're gonna be feeling the burn tomorrow. At this point, I'm gassed, but Hypershell kept me going every step of the way. My legs were burning, and at the point I knew I would have to stop, the Hypershell kicked in and helped me get to the very top. I almost passed out. I nearly threw up. I don't wanna fall. You're doing great. Okay. So I'm not gonna tell you what your time was right now. You're gonna find out after you do the real run. I also just wanna show everyone how high we are off the ground. We were all the way down at the street right down there, and now we are all the way up the top, and Capron is dead. But that's okay, because he's gonna go down again and do it. So what's really interesting is the world record, I believe, was in a minute he did 119 steps. You did a minute and 13 seconds, and you did 189 steps. So I think at that point, you could have potentially broke the record. That would be crazy. With this on. Timer starts when your foot touches the step. Okay, three, two, one. Wow, so far so 
so good, Chipper. All right, at the 30 second mark, killing it. Almost about at the same spot. Even though I didn't beat my first record, which is kind of sad, it helped me reach the top. And that's the whole point of wearing the hyper shell. Cool. Yeah, you killed it, Gabriel. So, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna die too. It goes to show that the hyper shell did so much good work there on the first one. Yeah. Like, you did great. We want to thank them for sponsoring this video and giving us a chance to put it to the Funk Bros test. And honestly, we're keeping this device because this will help us in the future. So while Cabrin's living, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to watch another one just like this, you can click up here. You could, YouTube recommends it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now and click up here. Well, see you in the next one. Bye.